Are you wondering how to automate LinkedIn posts that sound like you with the help of AI? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple automation that you can start using to post on LinkedIn every day, every hour, or however you wanna set the parameters. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this happens to be your first time to the channel, welcome, my name is Ryan, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you wanna know my favorite AI tools, prompts, and automations that I'm using for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. And speaking of my AI marketing essentials guide, I've included details and the JSON file for this LinkedIn automation that I'm about to show you, which I'm highlighting right here. So again, you can get this free guide by finding the link below this video. Now, before I start building this automation inside make.com, the first thing I would recommend you do is create what's called a chat GPT assistant. And if you've never heard of this, I have a dedicated tutorial showing you how to create chat GPT assistants. I'll leave that video in the description below, but long story short, these are versions or customized versions of AI. You can think of these similar to custom GPTs, except we can use these inside automations. And so to create chat GPT assistance, all you need to do is go to OpenAI's API platform. So it's platform.openai.com. I'll leave that in the video description below. And then once you sign up for a free account, you would click dashboard up here on the top. And on the left-hand side, you'll see assistance. Here are my assistants. Now, obviously you wouldn't have any if this is your first time signing up. So you would click create right here in the top right. Now, first of all, why am I even using chat GPT assistance? You technically don't have to, but I would recommend that you do it this way in order for the outputs to sound like you. You'll see right here, I have what's called an RD LinkedIn agent, just my initials and then LinkedIn agent. And right here, I am setting system instructions. So I'm essentially directing this, directing the automation, how I want my LinkedIn post to sound. I'm giving it voice and tone. I'm giving it structure, a content focus, and basically just setting all these different parameters like you would inside a custom GPT to get better outputs. Now for the model, I'm just gonna leave it at GPT 4.0. It's fairly inexpensive, gets the job done for this automation. This is a very important part here too. With your chat GPT assistant, you wanna enable file search and then you wanna upload relevant files. So in this instance, I have a document of all of my original LinkedIn posts that I actually wrote to train this assistant. And then I've also uploaded my LinkedIn profile for it to analyze my LinkedIn profile with my experience, how I sound, and just other important things that go into creating content on LinkedIn. Now, I probably would come back and add more over time, but for the purpose of this example, I'm adding two files. Just just showing you why it's important to use an assistant. And then once you're done here, it will just automatically save. So that is the first step of building this automation to auto post on LinkedIn is creating a chat GPT assistant. Now, something else important I need to mention is that after you're done creating your chat GPT assistant, we need to add a balance in order to use the API keys. So how do you do that? Well, you wanna click your profile icon inside OpenAI's API platform, click your profile. And on the bottom left here under, it looks like under organization, you should see billing, go ahead and click billing. And you'll notice here, I have $9.40 available for API credits. Now I'd recommend throwing in like $5. Honestly, you're probably not gonna exceed that if you're not running a ton of automations. So maybe add $5 here and you should be good to go. Now, once your balance is set, the next thing we need to do is create an API key. So on the left-hand side, click API keys under project. Now, obviously you won't have anything here and I already have one set up for make automations, but since you don't have anything, you need to click create new secret key. And then once you do that, this will create an API key that we will need in the next step. So just leave this window open here. So now what we wanna do is head over to make.com where we can start building our automation. This is a no code automation tool similar to Zapier, N8N. I'll leave a link below for make.com. You can sign up and get started with a free account. And once you've started with a free account, if you don't have one already, click scenarios on the left-hand side and then click create a new scenario. The first thing I'd recommend you do is just name this. I'm gonna do LinkedIn posting demo as this is just a demo that I'm doing. 
And then what you wanna do is I would recommend dragging this to the left just for simplicity purposes. Now we need to integrate OpenAI. So click OpenAI. And the first thing we wanna do, and this is important, we wanna click message and assistant. And right here, this window should pop up by default. Now you will need to connect to your OpenAI account. You'll see my connection is already established, but you would click add. And then this is where you would paste that API key from the previous step. So you would come over back to OpenAI's API platform, copy that API key you created after clicking create a new secret key, come back to make, and then you would paste that API key right here. And I've already established my connection, so obviously I'm not going to do that. Now, the next thing that we wanna do is under the assistant dropdown, we wanna find that chat GPT assistant that we just created in the previous step. And here it is, my RD LinkedIn agent. So now that's established. Now for the role, I would recommend just leaving this, leaving this, excuse me, as user. And then for message, I actually have a message that I copy and pasted. So I'll leave this in the description below if you guys wanna use it. It also should be on my AI marketing essentials guide, but I'm basically telling it that you are my AI powered content strategist for LinkedIn, your job's to write one post per day, blah, blah, blah. Just giving it a few more instructions here on what the actual task that I want this module to accomplish paired with my agent. Now, I wanna click save, and this is very important too. You also wanna save this scenario. So click save on the bottom, and now our scenario is saved. All right, so now we need to add the next module. So all you need to do is click add another module right here. And what I recommend you do is actually add what's called a router. This will spin it off into a couple different directions. You'll see why I'm doing this here shortly. So what we wanna do first is click this module on top. I'm gonna to type in LinkedIn. This is where we're gonna integrate our LinkedIn account. So I'm gonna click LinkedIn. Very important distinction here. You'll see users and you'll see organizations. For the purposes of this example, and this is what I would suggest you do first, is I would use an organization page. So I'm using AI Insider Tips. I only have 18 followers here. This is just a business page that I created to kind of test automations and just do random things and whatnot. I would recommend doing that before you just start auto-blasting posts on a personal account, and there might be errors, it might not sound like you. So for the purposes of testing, use a LinkedIn business page just like this. So now let's go back to our automation. So under organizations, I'm gonna click create an organization text post. And this is important here too. You need to establish a connection to your LinkedIn account. You'll see I've already done that, but if you haven't, you would click add and then follow the directions from there. Once you're integrated with your LinkedIn account, you should see an organization dropdown. Now, if you have access to multiple pages, it'll look like this. I'm just gonna click AI Insider Tips as that's what I wanna show or that's the page that I wanna post to. Now, under content, this is an important step. I'm gonna click this and the chat GPT or open AI box should populate on the left like this. So now what I wanna do is click this drop down under content and then under text, I also wanna click this arrow right here and then I wanna click value. This is going to get the value of what I'm asking my LinkedIn chat GPT assistant in the previous steps of what it produces. That's what I want it to post straight to my LinkedIn page. So now that that's done, all you need to do is click save. And then I would recommend clicking save again. So now you might be wondering why I created this router with another module. Technically, you don't have to do this, but the reason I'm doing this is for quality control. I wanna make sure that the outputs look good before I just auto blast it straight to LinkedIn. So what I'd recommend you doing is clicking this plus icon to add another module, and I'm going to use Google Docs to drop that output. So I'm gonna click Google Docs, and then what I wanna do in this example is insert a paragraph into a document. Now, just like any other module, you need to establish a connection right here with your Google Drive account. So you would click add, and then you would follow all of these steps to sign in with Google. And then what we wanna do is just leave this by dropdown, choose drive, so I'm gonna leave it at my drive. And now for the document ID, I need to find a file inside my Google Drive. So I went ahead and already created this called LinkedIn Post Drafts. So you're gonna to have to create a Google Doc first before you actually search for the file. And so let's go back to the automation. I'm gonna click here to choose file. And there's my document right here, LinkedIn Post Drafts. And so now we have a few other options here for insert paragraph. I would just leave this as is by appending to the body of the document. And this is an important point here that we need to fill out, appended text. This is where we wanna get that output from the chat GPT assistant. So just like we just did for the LinkedIn module, I'm gonna click content, I'm gonna click text, 
And then I'm also gonna click value right here. And then I'm going to click save. And then I'm gonna click save again. And one last thing before we test this automation, what we wanna do is actually disable this route first. Again, I wanna test it in the Google Docs before I just start posting all of this stuff to LinkedIn without any quality control. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this tool icon, I'm gonna to click disable route, and then what I'm going to do is simply run the automation. So I'm going to click run once, and then I'm gonna skip ahead and wait till this is complete. All right, so this automation ran through successfully. As I see right here, there were no error messages. Now let's actually check if it worked. I'm gonna pull up that Google Doc, and there it is right there. So let's read this quick. Imagine AI is your new personal trainer at the marketing gym. It doesn't just watch you sweat, it boosts your performance, optimizes your workout plan, measures every calorie. Now, these aren't gonna be perfect. Obviously, there's gonna be some fine tuning required to make sure the posts sound like you won. If you wanna add emojis, add better hooks, add better call to actions, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm just showing you the very basics of how you can automate LinkedIn posts every day, every hour, et cetera. So let's talk about that really quickly. So what we wanna do is come back to the automation. Now I'm actually gonna enable this. And then on the bottom here, this is where you would set your intervals. So if we wanted to do this every day, we would click every day, and then you would set a time. So you could do like 8 a.m. every single day. So I'm gonna do eight. 8 a.m. and then you would enable this right here. Click save. So now this automation is enabled. I don't want it every 15 minutes. Let's go every day. I'm just gonna click save. So now every day at 3.30, this automation is going to run. So I'm gonna turn this off once again because we're just testing it for this example. And now I just wanna test it to make sure that this actually goes through to my LinkedIn account successfully. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click run once and then I'm gonna skip ahead and wait till this is complete. All right, so it looks like the automation ran through successfully. So let's check our, our Google Doc here. Yep, there's the output right there. So now let's go to our LinkedIn account. And I'm gonna refresh the page here just to get a, a quick glance here. And it looks like it worked. AI is like a Swiss army knife for business. Most, And again, we could come in here. This isn't gonna be perfect, right? Eventually what you wanna do is you wanna fine tune this. And so what you would wanna do if you don't like these outputs is you would go back into your OpenAI API platform. And this is where we would update our chat GPT assistant. We would update these system instructions, maybe add more files that it can use to analyze and tailor its outputs. But that is what you would do. If you don't like what you are getting, you would wanna come into your assistant and then update update these system instructions. You can also dabble around here in the message component of this right here and just start tinkering with it until you finally like the outputs that you are receiving from this automation. But long story short, that is how you automate posts on LinkedIn and to get them to sound like you, we use the help of ChatGPT assistance. So if you've made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you. I hope this simple automation helped you out. And if you found value in what I shared in this tutorial, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But I also wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. Is this an automation that you guys found useful for what you're working on? Should I do more automation content just like this? Really wanna hear your thoughts in the comment section below. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.